All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to you. How was on the begun saying how was shot, man? And uh, just bringing out again, doing my side lessons, bro. Going into history for you, uh, you Israelites that scattered across the earth in the new covenant. See what I'm saying? So again, for those of you who watch my channel, or those of you who are new to my channel, I go into a little bit of everything, man. Uh, that's just what I do. Because I have this knack of, uh, I have this love of actually informing our people because they're taking down information. They're always changing definitions. They're always psychologically manipulating beloveds when it comes to information. But I'm here as a servant for y'all, man, you know, bringing out this information for free. Uh, <clears throat> first and for oh, also to Shalom to the women that sincere to the Lord, bro. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna start stacking up my bread and bringing out uh, history, because in each and everything that we study in this truth, man, you gotta uh, take the time to really study it. So whether it's new covenant, the mysteries of Christ, the mysteries of hell, the old covenant. See what I'm saying? So you know, in each and every in each and every phase, man, we are gonna uh, touch on it, bro. Real quick, just to, uh, get on the history. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a lot of these books. And stack up my bread, man, to uh, help Jake know who they are. But uh, what's crazy? It said that uh, cause this is this is going into how the Hebrew males are always, you know, envied for uh their you know physical DNA, whatever. Because it says on the other side, the white women may come to believe that black men are sexually superior to white men. So basically, what's been happening throughout history, like I've been bringing out, is that because of America's uh, wicked history, not only America, Rome, Greece, and Syria, castration, not only with the males, but also with the females, has been a very popular wicked act, right? And this is something that the nations always try to hide. So it's a quote by... Um, the associate professor of psychiatry from Harvard Medical School, it says, uh, Israelite men or black men, even other tribes, have been both glorified and victimized because of their alleged sexual prowess, right? So I've been bringing out lots of crucial, undeniable, unrefutable information about castration. It's a well-known fact that they've been cutting off Jake's privy members, man. I was I actually I was just informed that uh George Washington Carver, the guy who made the uh peanut butter, they cut ho they cut off his rod, man. And what they try to do, they try to hide things and they try to say, Well, you know, that's in the past. Or they'll say some shit like, Well, it don't apply to all of y'all. Nobody said all, but the the fact that you're even trying to find it find an excuse to hide it proves how much of a devil you really are. Right. So anyway, it says the black man is America's fearsome male sex symbol, and many black men love the image. It says, "Uh, don't destroy the belief that we are sub sex sexually superior to white men, etc." But uh, what's crazy? It says in Melvin's in Melvin Van Peebles' movie Sweetback. The black hero, by conquering a white woman in a competitive game of sexual intercourse, escapes lynching at the hands of a white motor motorcycle gang, Edomites, man. See, see what I'm saying? It's crazy because when you jump, it says, I'm going to zoom in. Lerone Bennett Jr., a black historian, has suggested that some, some have gone as far as to believe they can fuck the way out of freedom. Because they were, bro. I forgot what book it was, but I know for a fact that because this video is going to be about the women mainly, but they tried to say that uh, Israelite males are unproportionately built, see what I'm saying, or they're primates. But my thing is, these nations are always talking about, we're stereotyping, they're always talking about, even Jake, they're always talking about, oh, you, you're believing in a myth. No other nation on the earth is called porch monkeys, bro. No other nation on the earth is called bywords. 
Like that, bro. So that's what the scriptures say, man. Whosoever loveth to make a lie, you're going to be burnt the hell up. Because like King David said, he hate every false way. So in each and every uh, topic or, you know, whatever subject we're talking about, you have to be clear. It has to be truthful, man. And one thing that I'm going into is uh, the, ge the genetic superiority and how the, the genetic superiority of Israelites and how it proves what the Lord said is correct, right? Which, if you call him a liar, you're just, you're just a weird-ass dude. But what humans try to do, they will take one black, so-called black or brown woman, right, or man, and they'll say, well, see, all y'all not built like that. Bro, first of all, everybody that looks like us is not an Israelite, bro. That's another thing y'all lie about, okay, because the seed is through the Father. It's just a bunch of information that this world don't know. But anyway, it says, uh, it says black man, my fact, my bad. It says throughout Western history, they have been depicted as apish, brutal, apish brutes. Did not Paul call the uh, Israelites and Corinth barbarians, bro? An apish man. They calling you a goddamn ape, bro. This is well. This is a well-known fact. So I don't know why you racist ass white people, why you other racist racist nations and shit. Stop acting like, bro. See, that's what God do. The Lord is gonna deal with y'all. Cause think about it. We the main nation with thick lips. Okay. Oh well, you know y'all. You know, you know you y'all are monkeys. Y'all know they're doing that. That's called shaming tactics. Shaming tactics. Right. It literally says they have been depicted as apish brutes with long phalluses, man. Masters of carnal knowledge. Right? First of all, these things don't come from nowhere, bro. We invented electricity. Invented all these things in America around the world. Right? Abraham taught the Egyptians arithmetic, bro. And astrology. The stars, and according to the Bible, it has names, man. But now they twisted it and said, well, and all the zodiac signs and constellations, you know, the Big Dipper and shit and all that. But anyway, right here in America, black men's bodies were dismembered. Right. This is history. You cannot deny this, bro. You cannot come on the Internet talking about it's a fucking urban myth, bro. OK. We're dismembered by craze. White Edomite lynch mobs and orgies of savage violence. Many Israelite men were publicly castrated. That means cutting off your penis, bro. Oh, stereotype. Why you, why you bringing out this history? No, nigga. Let, let me say this too, bro. Because I know some of y'all are trying to follow the information that I'm reading. But let me say this. For you nations that are getting offended, you have no right to get offended at any damn thing. We can't talk about our hair. We can't talk about nothing that apply to us without y'all getting offended, bro. You nations think y'all have the right to live lavishly, not struggle with shit most of the time. But you're mad at us for wanting to know how we are. And then you turn around and go to church and pray to God, bro. You done killed his people, the children of Israel. You done killed his people. You done oppressed the shit out of them. And now you got the nerve to get offended. Meanwhile, I'm running around. I see Baphomet. Demonic ass symbols on Edomite cars and shit. I see Freemason lodges all over this bitch. But y'all mad at me though. So I know y'all the goddamn devil, man. But it says in Lynch for supposedly raping white women. This is actually facts, bro. See that? Because it goes back to the point. It's not a goddamn myth, man. So this is just really to further elaborate on my point. That's why it says there is little there is little doubt that our white countrymen have been a in a uh, chronic state a paranoid a paranoid fear over Israelite male sexual power power. Then it says nigger jokes. Shout out to uh, Yashala Milwaukee and pornographic literature of boundless stories to testify the black male sexual appetites and attributes. Right. Not to mention. First of all, this is why. You put this is when the scriptures say perverse or when you pervert things that's holy, bro. Because against the, the law of Moses literally tells you not to cut off your rod, bro. 
in Deuteronomy 31, Deuteronomy 31 and 7, I believe. Go call my blood. Don't you Christians don't just sit there and turn it off. No, go read, go look in the book, bro. So they did that. That's clean contrary to the most high, bro. Right? Then they try, then they try to come on the internet. Well, you know, it's a myth. Y'all ain't no dude. You're fucking dude. Y'all are liars, bruh. Several psychologists believe that the Edomite sphere of the virility, right, of the black man was only thinly dis uh, disguised in the popular movie classic King Kong. Because they were taught, they were saying Jake is a big ass monkey with a big ass tail, man. They claim. That the ape's pursuit of the blonde and his wanton, meaning lust, destruction of the phallic empire. This phallic means penis, by the way. That's also in the Bible. Look it up. Empire State Building shows the extent to which white Americans merge blackness with savage violence and sexuality, bro. That's how you know we're the goddamn Dragon Ball Z Saiyans, bro. Shit crazy. A white psychiatrist stunned the audience at a recent meeting. When he said that whites are Edomites fear of black militancy resulted in part because the expression of black power, which so-called black power, because we're not pro-black, not a tribes on black. I'm actually bringing out some more information tomorrow uh, going into how the Latin, so-called Latin tribes and their Hebrew history, bro. But that's tomorrow. Was transformed in their subconscious to black penis, bro. Okay. So actually, like I said, when y'all, again, look up, matter of fact, don't look it up because it's going off. What, what I looked up is a term with Maplethorpe's imageries, bro. And everything he said in that book was on point, man. And they tried to break it off, man. So that's why they try to, that's why they down here, they try to say, oh, it's a, you know, it's a myth, it's a fantasy. How the fuck is it a fantasy and myth and it actually happened? Y'all, man, but anyway, so I tried to go, so, you know, I'm trying to go into history for my Israelite sisters, right, and uh, the scattered, because I don't, and let me say this too, every single Israelite woman is not, you know, don't have a big butt, big, but they, it's like, bro, naturally, most of them do, a lot of them do, bro, okay, let's not be stupid, it's historically known that the other nations, even now, are more, generally are more skinnier, bro, and thin, even a scientist said that the Israelite woman has wider hips, but for some reason I couldn't find this book and no, like no nothing, no stores, nothing. But listen, let's go to the Israelite woman, bro. Cause this is how I pick apart information. It says Barry freely jokes about issues of black beauty. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say brown beauty, cause this this includes the Latin tribes too. It says frequently using herself as a point of uh. A departure and asking why Israelite women with dark skin, woolly hair, and big butts are made to feel so bad about themselves. Same thing. Because they call, bro, this is actual history, bro. They tried to use our women, like just like it said in the scriptures, right? They tried to use our women as objects. So now, when you see all these dumbass scrags twerking, when you see them glorifying their booties and shit, they don't understand with a lick of knowledge that you are actually copying the peasant you, you being a peasant you're passing down that wicked tradition because that twerking stuff that come from the canaanite women from african females that's not an israelite custom so israelite women the wicked ones say well i'm gonna show my ass off anyway because y'all have told us that you know be having a big butt and all that that's not you know what what they call be beautiful. And my thing is I'ma cut that shit too. You got these dumbass Edomite women. Bro, y'all have for the longest, y'all have sat up there and tried to put y'all selves on the forefront talking about being built like ironing boards is sexy. That's not attractive to me personally, bro. Like at all. See what I'm saying? But anyways. <sighs> Hold on. I got another, I screenshotted just some of this stuff, man. Hold on. So, it says right here. Hold on. What 
what's crazy, it says that when Sahar DJ died five years later, she was the subject of a famous dissection or dissection that was used to support almost a century worth of myth, a white racial superiority, right? Because the Edomites have spent centuries and years trying to put yourselves into history, right? Lying on the Bible, lying on our God, lying on every damn thing, not all of y'all. And it says here, it says, bruh, it says today you can find the, rep wait, hold on, I'm reading the wrong thing, bro. On the bottom, it says the Houghton taught Venus became the dominant icon of black femininity in the 19th century. It says it reduced in the European imagination to her two sexual attractions, but an apron, right? Right here, it says in her in her dissembled body or dissembled booty lives on or live on. Peek at the album. Peek at the album cover photo of two live. Cruise me so horny. A two. How do you two crew? Hold on. To live, cruise me so horny. It says black women or Israelite women, Latino women don't have faces or souls, just big old butts. Representing sexual deviation and disease, bruh. See that? So see how they tried to degrade the Israelite woman, but then they'll turn around. No, you know, it's just a myth, you know, because you have white women with big booties and Look, I've even said I've said that other nations have curves, but I've never said that all Jake women are built like that. But what I do know is that a lot of them or most of them are, are built like that, bro. That's what that's what makes the Israelites separate, bro. The majority of East Indian women ain't built like that. Elon, Moab, they're not built like that at all, bro. They're just they're just now doing that shit. Kim Kardashian. And all the see this is this is carnal, but I'm I'm bringing out history just to prove how the scriptures are true, man. Because even right here, it says maintaining this notion of the black female sexual order, Israelite sexual order became crucial to, to doctrines of racial purity in both Europe and the antebellum South. Fear of big black dick, excuse my French, public enemy, and others want to keep this bit of race lore fresh out fresh in our minds but what about the fear of a big black ass because what they did now they said well you can't use that because the majority of your women you know they're being thoughts bro first of all again you're dealing with like the scriptures this is the portion of our nation that wanted to follow the ways of the heathen this is part of our people that wanted to disobey the lord see what i'm saying see what they try to do what you know Liars and people who like to feel uncomfortable, right? No, my bad. Liars and people who like to feel comfortable in their lives. They love to, you know, lie on information. What am I saying? Because they'll see this and say, no, nah, you know, you're just sexualizing. You're sexualizing your women. No, I'm not. Our women naturally, like most of my cousins, my female cousins, most of the Israelite women that I've seen in my personal life, I'm an athlete. They've always been built more voluptuous than other nations. Why the hell is it like so-called white women, Edomite women, most of them, not all of them, they descend from Mount Petra, the Caucasus Mountains, bro. They're not built like the Israelite woman like that, bro. They're even late bloomers. So just because you have a white looking Israelite woman or an Asian looking one, that doesn't mean that, oh, it's a stereotype. No, nah, bro, the Lord makes things very simple. It says, wasn't the rape of Israelite women during slavery a form of castration of conquering the sexual beast, bruh? You see that? So, again, because the black Jews, the Judites, they fled into the Africa in 70 AD because and castration isn't something new. They were doing that in the Bible, bro. That's in Maccabees. So, you cannot say that it's a stereotype and myth or over-sexualizing, bro. Over-sexualizing is literally performing... Adultery or being a harlot. That's what that is, bro. But we have to separate statistics and facts statistics and facts from opinions and you know skewed views on stuff, man. And I'm doing this for the sincere sisters of the Israelite nation in the new covenant, man. Don't let don't 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 
be fooled. I've seen Israelite women in the gym. The from all the tribes, from what I perceive, man. And most of the time, they're more voluptuous. That's just literal that's literal observation, bro. And that's okay. If you're a skinny Israelite woman, that's okay too. But I'm just pointing out certain things, man. Even Gentile women. I'm not shaming y'all for being skinny or uh, you know, you may be voluptuous or whatever, because that's not deep. That's just, you know, carnal stuff. But I just like history. I ain't gonna lie. I just love history when it's correct. But um, right here, I found another article, right? Now, it says right here, it says results show that 64% of women are pear-shaped, right? You look at a pear, it's crazy because <laughs> that basically means you got a big belly. <laughs> <laughs> that means you got a big belly and a small, you know, chest, bruh. Hell, nah. My bad. And 30% are straight with little definition at their waist. But listen, women over age 36 were the most likely to have bigger hips. And Israelite women were reported to have larger measurements all around compared to other women, but had an hourglass shape more often, bro. So it doesn't say all, but more often, bro. I'm going to show y'all some examples, okay? These are statistics. Now, obviously, our women are not taught to take care of, take care of their hair and diet. They're not taught that they're princesses. They're taught that they're just, you know, Hamite slaves, right? The righteous ones. And then they got to deal with nonsense. It's already bad enough that the majority of our women are wicked as hell, man. They're going to get jacked the hell up. Right? But for the ones who have an ear to hear and eyes to see, man, you know, this is facts. That's why that beautiful, uh, you got beautiful foreign shawties, like, they understand that that's what most Jake's like and everything. I think that's just them, bro. They just, and, that, and that's that's okay. That's, that's a beautiful thing, bro. A lot of women... Of other nations too are going more they're going to the gym more they're not falling into that damn white america beauty standard that you got to be skinny and shit working a corporate job and if you are built sexy oh you're not professional oh no bro that's some weird cuck edomites bro but again read it again it says but black women brown women israelite women were reported to have larger larger measurements all around Compared to other women, but had an hourglass shape more often. Then they'll say, well, that's not true because most black women are obese. Nigga, they only obese because they don't eat right. They don't work out, bro. That's not their natural shape. It was Israelite women in fourth and fifth grade that was built with an hourglass shape. I'm not even exaggerating, bro. But then they'll, then they'll find an excuse for the food. No, nigga. No, nigga. Matter of fact, we're just going to cut this stuff because people... In this world, they're okay with, you know, being racist towards the Israelite nation. They're okay with lying on the Lord. They're okay with saying, nah, God, you don't have a peculiar people. You just make that up. Nah, dude. Y'all tweet. Look, man, look. What's crazy in this other article I found, it says, uh, It says, it says Afro-Brazilian, right? And these are, again, I say Latinas, right? And Afro-Latinas, not a nationality, that's that pro-Hamite shit. But you know Jake, y'all know Jake. But Afro-Brazilian women's attempt to adopt dominant standards of beauty. In the following passage, she describes how she came to terms with the physical signifiers of Israelite womanhood. Regina says we have more curves than other women. Okay. We have certain parts that are much bigger, much larger, wider hips. And so, first of all, and she's right because a white scientist even said that. It says larger bottoms. It says, wow, it was so much work for me to hide this. I thought I had to hide, bruh. See? So that's their way of trying to, again, well, and like now it's become popular. And what they try to do. Is they re they reward the wicked of our women with money, selling their soul, 
And it's, it's a very sad thing to see because the real, okay, the princesses are the supposed to be princesses of the nations, the Lord's daughters, right? The Lord's daughters don't even know what the, who the fuck they are, bro. That's crazy, bro. And it's sad in the sense of, like, it's still a spiritual world. So don't get it twisted. You evil Gentiles gonna pay for what y'all did. But you gotta understand something, bro. You sent our, our women the fuck off, bro. See what I'm saying? Now, we can't even go around. We can't even really be comfortable. They can't they be comfortable in their own skin. Because now, y'all try to reverse it and say, well, we know what we did to y'all was wrong. But because y'all wearing your natural hair, like I was in the store, bro. Now, they are mad at Israelite women and Jake for talking about how beautiful their hair is. Nobody wants to have blonde hair, bro. What the fuck? Y'all can't even be comfortable with how God made y'all. But you want us to be. No, bro. No, nigga. Literally, like, me and my bro was talking about this. This is for Israelite men and women with his hair type. Hair type 4C, bro. It's, it's certain products that literally destroy our hair. And Edomites and other nations will get upset at you when you when you say that shit. I'm not finna go bald for you. The fuck? But anyway. What's crazy, it says that, uh. It says, fair skinned, slender figures and wine swept hair was more marketable, right? So she's saying skinny ass, super bright, super bright women, right? Was more marketable than chocolatey skin and afro hair with uh, and wide nostrils and wider hips, bro. See what I'm saying? So just, just to be fair... They tried to say, well, the Israelite woman, y'all are built like monkeys and shit. No, you're just a fucking weirdo, bro. You see? Y'all can't say that's a stereotype. You can't say that that's, oh, no, bro. Much of our criticisms of the Kardashians, and I don't like them. I never liked the Kardashians, by the way. I don't like them at all. And Jenner's is connected to how we see them as culturally biracial women, which, which they're actually Armenian, who have borrowed freely... From the physical traits of black women or Israelite women, Latina women, right? Viewed as desirable so long as they're as they aren't actual black bodies, bro. So you cannot sit up there and say it's a myth you over sexualizing. No, bro. This actually proves a Bible. The nation of Israel is a peculiar nation. I just proved last time. Right? So for you racist nations, bro, that's trying to unjustly do our daughters in. I'm going to be fair. Yahweh Shai said judge fairly and righteously, bro. Every every black and Latino woman is not ratchet, bro. Every black and Latino woman is not twerking and shaking ass, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and you brothers that's like trying to, bro, I'm SOSBM, but it's like, bro, I'm not I'm not biased, though, bro. I'm not fucking biased, bro. Y'all going to stop this bullshit, bro. I don't agree with the stupid ass narrative that just because you would a Jake that like curvaceous women, you just fit in stereotype. No, nigga, that's not a stereotype. That's how Jake is, bro. I don't want no fucking ironing board, bro. But you're not finna sit up here and lie and hide this shit. I'm tired of y'all doing that shit, bro. Look, it says both the Asian and white women cannot compete with the courage of Latinas. Latinas are also naturally voluptuous. How do I know? Because even in fucking middle school, most of the Israelite women were naturally built like that. The vast majority, by far, bro. I know this. I know this personally. When I went to the suburbs, most of those white girls and shit and Asians and Arab, they were, they're not built like that. They're not. They're just not, bro. So stop sitting there. Stop sitting up here lying, bro, on our women, bro. That's why we do these lessons, man. That's why we bring this shit out, man. Tired of y'all. That's why I'm like, bro, we got to teach the ones who can understand to take care of their body, like you, bro. You look. At least this young. I'm trying to tell you, brothers, man. Some of the, some of these young daughters and the young generation, bro. They're waking the hell up, bro. They're not just out here on some bullshit. See what I'm saying? 
they understand, you know, both perspectives, bro. So they try to dim the beauty of the Jake woman. See what I'm saying? But anyway, it says Indian women put on weight around their stomach, which makes it very hard for them to compete against other races of term body. It says Israelite women are black women, Latino women are just generally bigger and bulkier than other races and also the western food makes them fat faster than other races why because fast food is goddamn poison it's not real food man not only is the body type of a woman dependent on race but there are parts of their body which they cannot control and it's in their genes that means your how bashimi how shot made particular particular humans a certain way some women have bigger hips other have smaller hips Big boobs, small boobs, no boobs, ass, whatever, no ass, thighs. I mean, I said thighs. Things like these cannot be changed through diet and exercise. So she was saying, like, bro, everything is like, bro, just because you see a, a tiny or a skinnier Israelite woman, that don't make it a stereotype, bro. The only thing that makes something a stereotype is when you say all. But when you say, like, look. The majority of Israelite women are built. That is a fact, bro. Look at sports. The Israelite woman dominates the majority of sports, bro. Hockey was created by Jake. Okay? Even in music, Jake beats the nations in everything. Okay? Will you teach will you teach a nationality? No, I'm not. Look, it says. In conjunction with with uh, today's black women and black men's magazines, it says what we found out was that Israelite women usually have wider hips, small waist, and thicker rear ends and thighs than other women. Bro. Okay, let's get some, let's get some more statistics, bro. Right, just to prove my point, it was a girl named Jasmine ha Jasmine Haywood, Quinerica, Kiara. Okay, I'm just name a few. Um. A lot of Latinas, by the way. I ain't gonna name the names, but it says the onset and length of the tanner stages have ethnic variations, particularly in girls. Non-Hispanic and Hispanic means like you're trying to group in the indigenous Hebrew Hispanics or Latinos, Latinas, the Tainos, Boricas. You're trying to group them with the Edomites. That's a whole different lesson. But I'm saying that because all the tribes are not Negro, bro. But it says black girls enter puberty at an early age, at an earlier age, than non-so-called Hispanic white girls. See that? So when they, bro, when you when you look on the on the on a racial checklist, they always put Hispanic slash white, bro, because people don't understand genealogies, which is through the father, right? Because Hispanic comes from Spain, bro. Now you had Israelites who were. Consider Spaniards because Jake was already over there. And the slave trade happened in reverse, bro. By the way. But anyway, it's it, the statistics is telling you there's like women is more developed at an earlier age than other nations. Now, of course, due to um food and you know other things that's happening, things results may vary. Nearly 50% of non-Hispanic black girls are reported to be in Tanner stage two in Tanner stage two by eight years of age, man. Let's see that. So this is this is um statistics, man. Right? So it's telling you the Israelite woman statistically develops faster than other nations, man. Right? What's crazy? Let me see what let me see what I got right here, bro. It says specifically, I really love Israelite women with bubble butts and nice legs and where I fit. And y'all can't say I'm going off because I use Song of Solomon. I use the scriptures to prove that the Jake woman always had the daughters of Zion were always well rounded, bro. There's nothing new under the sun, bro. So this responded. Who was dating an Israelite woman at the time of study describes himself as mostly attracted to non-white women, stating that he is attracted to black and Latino women. 
They have beautiful skin and eyes. What am I talking about? Judas 10 and 19. I also love that they have a generally fuller figure and more voluptuous, man. That's how most of the time, even the whoremongering black males and Latinos, they only go for like sexy women most of the time, bro. Even wicked ass Lisa Ann said that shit. Even that other white woman on the um her ex is named Tyrone or some shit like that. She said that most Jakes, that Asian girl, most Jakes just that's what they go for, bro. So no, bro, I don't agree with that whole rhetoric. Just oh, you, you know, you going for a girl with that's voluptuous, you you lusting. No, nigga. People have preferences, bro. You got Jake that likes skinny women too. I don't like skin I, I don't find that attractive, bro. That don't mean I'm gonna, let me say this too. Now, just because a Jake likes his woman like he like him, that don't make him wicked, bro. Y'all are weird ass dudes with your paranoid ass spirit. This is I like a nice bubble, but Drake defi Drake defines black women Israelite as exotic. You see, historically, Israelite women's buttocks or booties have been an integral component in influential European men defining black women as having exotic. An exotic sexual body. Because it's different from the Edomite women's. See? Doug, a so-called white male in his 20s who resides in Vermont states, I like big butts. In high school, I read and looked at King Magazine, which is like Maxim, but for a black audience, an Israelite audience. And all these models have really big butts. Bro, who was that? Uh, Bro, who, Elohim, you're probably watching this video. Bro, who created that song when he said... uh? I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. What who, who said that shit, bro? But see, <laughs> I'm not saying other nations don't like it either, but mainly this is a uh separate characteristic for the Israelite woman. Right? Now notice I just noticed this notice this too. Every time because okay, every time we bring out stats, truth. They always they always try to come back and say you're mythologizing. A myth is something that's a fable that's made up. This is not made up. So you're contradicting your own uh uh what you call it thesis, bro. See what I'm saying? It says uh Israelite women's buttocks have long been a hallmark of white defined black sexuality, with the protruding black butt representing primitive. Raw, the same thing they said about the man, bro. Uncivilized, right? Because then they'll say, well, y'all's women twerking. And I get it. I get on their ass all the time, bro. But even at the damn job, the black and Hispanic women have naturally bigger butts, bro. That's just what it is, man. But it says in heightened sexuality, one that was historically... Denigrated and pathologized, bro. Well, again, how is it a myth when it is historically proven? So stop telling our young daughters, right? Because I got a big sister and a little sister, bro. So I'm not playing that weird ass shit. All right. So stop telling them that just because they've loved to us or look a certain way, you know, you're trying to you're trying to miseducate them, bro. All right. But um it says white men in contemporary times can more openly. Uh, my bad. It says in today's co commodity culture, the black butt has been rec uh, rec recommodized. Hold on. Recommoditized. And is now popular, popularized and more acceptable in mainstream white society, bro. Because they're using it to degrade you. Right? And, you know, our people. You know, the worldly ones, they go like, well, they got to do it because, you know, we've been depressed for so long and they don't understand. They don't put their trust in the royalty. They don't put their trust in modesty. You know what I'm saying? They don't put their trust in the Lord, bro. They allow these nations to shame them. And some might be so-called mixed or whatever. Like, oh, for example, this other Israelite woman at the job, Jasmine, super thick, bro. Most of the time, her uh, so-called Edomite cousins, because they could be Jake too, they're not built like her. Jasmine is very, she's curvy. See what I'm saying? Like, 
big. I'm talking about, damn. Armor, same goddamn thing. And listen, each and every Israelite woman is not built voluptuous. This is just proven Genesis, no, Deuteronomy 4 or Deuteronomy 7. When it says that the, the Israelite nation is peculiar. So the Lord will give you even, the Lord will give you physical characteristics on who the Israelites are. For example, y'all know how in Daniel, in Revelation, it says that he had the hair as the, as the pure wool. The majority of the time, the Israelite males and women are the only nation on the planet with that type of hair. Ancient Canaanites, the real Africans, the Canaanites, they don't have our same type of hair either. We have a very specific hair type. We look similar, but like the scriptures say, even with the men, the men, they, they compare it, Paul, Moses, right? I think the Yahweh Shai fled to Egypt, right? So we look similar. The Israelite women look very similar to the Ethiopian woman. She looks very similar to the Etrian woman. But they're not, they're not the same, bro. <laughs> they're not the same, bro. But here's the mystery. Our women are actually scattered amongst them. Because Jake clapped every single... Con Jake went around the world, right? Uh, marrying or, you know, put dropping seed off in other nations of women throughout history. So obviously you're gonna have, you know, so-called and Trian women, white women, they can actually be Israelites. That's the other mystery behind this. But anyway, it's a whole different lesson. It says white men in contemporary times can more openly express their desire for full black butts, and those white women, as well as other other racial and ethnic groups who do not possess a full behind can now attempt to recreate or emulate Israelite women's butt through special clothing, fat injections, and other types of booty-enhancing techniques. Same thing with the men. So-called enlargement techniques. All this bullshit. But clothing companies financially capitalize on this new desire for the protruding black butt. Victoria's Secret's creation of uplift jeans, right? They just slid that in there. <laughs> Which include a built-in back panel that lifts lifts the buttocks up from the inside. So for the shawties, bro, even for the scattered, I'm gonna shout y'all out. Some of the righteous Assyrian shawties, they know that Jake loved curvaceous women, right? So basically, what this what this saying is the physical peculiarity peculiarity of the daughters of Zion. What they did is that they said, okay. We gonna use our technology and resources to use your body, but now we are gonna use our body, and because our women are destroyed mentally, the Gentile women have done that and use their femininity to get a certain amount of jakes and everything. Because now the roles are reversed, and the Israelite woman she's overly emotional, she's overly overtly wicked with shit. That's the key difference. See what I'm saying? So you might have, hypothetically speaking, you might come across a fine mother milk of magnesia, right? She pleases you well. Just like the Canaanite, the Canaanite woman pleased Samson well. It didn't say how she looked or whatever. But the roles are so, are so much reversed now that the Gentile women are like, man, we're going to take your men because we're going to acknowledge them as their king, right? We're going to actually show you, Israelite women, what you felt in that because Israelite women, believe it or not, you were supposed to be the ultimate example of what beauty is inside and out, right? I'm not talking about no women, women worshiping. We talk about in the order of God, dude. So they were the Gentile women, to be keep it a buck, they're actually following you in wickedness. But they're using your tactics to get your men. That's what that's what Espos BM is trying to tell you, right? But y'all taking it out of proportion, right? And what they're also trying to tell you is because the majority of our women are so much so miseducated, um, again, rape goes on, molestation. Yeah, you got we forgot about that, right? 
it's all kinds of stuff. Our men are raped at a young age, man. When you got, you know, older women coming on to our young men at an early age, man. So it's all kinds of stuff that's working against us. And all of this is designed by Satan, bro. Just wickedness. But one thing, one thing I'm bringing out today is, uh, nah, bro. It's the, it's the peculiarity and the proof what the Lord created, bro. What's crazy, it says, thus, Israelite women's buttocks have entered mainstream white society as more acceptable and have been appropriated by whites as a symbol of beauty, man. Right? Nonetheless, the desire for Israelite women's booty also comes with expectations and stipulations as so defined by whites. Not all Edomite men, white men, have accepted the beauty of the black butt, man. For some, it is too visible a sign, a reminder of so-called blackness, bro. So right here, it says, consider Morris, a middle-class male in his 40s who resides in New Jersey. He states, black women tend to have bigger, larger lips and, and butts, which is often a turnoff for me, right? This is a Edomite dude. No, you just stereotyping. you stereotyping. I like a girl's ass, but not a big one. But then he says, sorry, I know a lot of guys do, right? It says right here, others, it says, uh, although Morris is considerably tame in his response, others were not. Gene, a college-educated respondent in his 40s residing in Delaware, describes Israelite women's butts as huge, sloppy asses, man. You see that bullshit, bro? See? Another responded 20-year-old Quincy in Ohioan, sound like a damn grape drink, described his aversion to black women's butt in this way. Ghetto booty, no thank you. I had stankin' ass, bitch-ass suburban dudes, right? They hate Jake women because of their skin. Like, they on, they on some coon, they are the, on some, the ultimate coon shit, bro. These motherfuckers was walking around with these skinny, pin-thick-ass Edomite women, bro, talking about, well, I don't like black girls because they uh, are Latinas and shit because of their skin. It's like, bro, I will do If it's up to me, if I was the most high, bro, I'll burn and, bro, I will burn all that shit up. And coincidentally, that place called Sugar Land, it's next to a place called Santa Plantation. See, and how the fuck is this a myth, bro? But it's okay for you to... Shit talk the righteous women of our nation. But then you turn around, well, that's you know, that's just a myth and shit. So damn. So now you gotta you get you get to castrate our women too, right? You get to uh whitewash over their royal history, you get to lie on the Lord, and y'all get to have 401k plans, but then y'all want everybody to blend in with y'all. Now y'all want everybody to be equal and shit. The Lord is not with that, bro. To be honest with you, the Heavenly Father is a clear separatist. Yahweh Shai is a separatist, bro. A clear separatist. Because you got because because the nations they think well, all of this is wrong. Let's all be you know one and everything, so people feel good now. But the Lord like nah, bro. Uh uh, the Lord is a separatist, dude. Sheep from the goats, man. Everybody's out on the same team, and you work as a darkness. You know that shit. So start with the cap, man. Several white males express similar views by characterizing characterizing Israelite women's buttocks or booties, curves, and bodies as being out of proportion. Because y'all want skinny, thin ass, stiff ass, old ass, racist ass, bitch ass Karens, bro. Okay. It says, finding black women with dis disproportionate buttocks and shaped unattractive. The majority of Israelite women, even in the suburbs, had very big booties, bro. It, was, it wasn't even close. Like, it wasn't even close, bro. I could literally name names I wanted to, bro. Most of the other nations, yeah, they're feminine, all the other nonsense. But when it comes to physical t characteristics, you cannot sit up here and say, well... You over-sexualized. I'm talking about Colombian. I'm talking about Puerto Rican. So-called Black American. I'm talking Nigerian. Because those, a lot of those are Israelites too, bro. See what I'm saying? So what are y'all talking about? 
put, put uh what's we got Cuban. Like, bro, when it comes to I'm so saying, bro, when it comes to natural beauty, that's what makes the Israelite one peculiar Israelite one peculiar because genetically they're built like that, bro. See what I'm saying? From skinny to thick. Right? And I ain't talking about obese either. So it says right here. Raymond, a 40-year-old respondent from Louisiana, states that some Israelite women have excellent figures that are world proportion, but not most. He said it backwards. He's saying, well, some Israelite women are skinny, whatever, because, and that's what I don't understand. Let me say this too. Only 2% of Israelite women so-called interracially date, man. Okay. But like when you see people like Travis Kelsey or... These few so-called interracial dating, a lot of them, a lot of those so-called white dudes can actually go back to Israelites. That's why I don't, I'm not, I'm again, I'm fair, bro. But let's also be fair. The majority of Israelite women do not even marry them. Right? Again, the wicked of the women that y'all see on Instagram, that y'all see on Twitter, right? They're just following the world. They have no clue about being an Israelite. So now they're saying this Kyrie and Kanye thing, and that's making them turn away from the word of the Lord. And only the Lord can actually open their minds to this. See what I'm saying? But anyway, it says, uh, Jay, a North, Carol North, a North Carolinian in his 20s, expresses that he finds most things about Israelite women attractive, except for a dispor dis disproportionate rear end, bro. You see that? Similarly, James mentioned earlier in this chapter declares what he finds unattractive about black women, Latino women, along with facial features, hair, and skin texture. So how do how is this a stereotype, bro? So Israelite woman, they're literally trying to tell you that you're ugly. No, the fuck you're not, bro. Y'all just need the spirit, the Holy Spirit. That's it. And that's all, dude. And I'm saying this. It's like, bro, y'all, I'm, I'm not a dude. I'm not biased at all, bro. But you goddamn nations, I'm on your ass, man. You Karens and Beckys and shit that's getting offended. Fuck you, bro. Because I already gave y'all y'all props. But no, nah, nah, bro, we not, we not, we not finna. Y'all not finna keep doing this shit, bro. Y'all don't know what it's like to be us at all, bro. I'm so tired of this shit. The Lord tired of this shit, actually. But anyway. And, I've, and let me say this too, man. I don't know if I said this in the video, but the other day, I was asking hella women, bro. Just on some player shit about preferences and everything. And they, they all agree with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. Jake. Bro. Women not tripping about all this other nonsense. What I'm bringing out is the truth about the scriptures, right? And I'm just educating, you know, those who got an ear to hear, man. See what I'm saying? Because they all were laughing. They were giggling and everything. And what's crazy, this other so-called Hispanic lady, Latina, she said that her friend was dating this so-called African, right? Which a lot of them be Jake. A lot of them Israelites. But she said that, uh, you know, she loved her chocolate. And that she really happy and everything. But when I brought up, you know, voluptuous women, none of them, all of them was laughing and giggling like, bro, that's what you're supposed to like that shit. But for the Israelite women, understand, you're naturally built like that. The thing is, just modest. Don't overly, don't overtly use your body to entice, you know, wickedness. That's all it is. And I've met lots of Israelite women that were virgins that was built like a model, bro. Big booty, round thighs, and all. So stop that shit. That's that's when y'all need to stop grouping motherfuckers in, into the same box, man. Yeah, how was I said, judge righteously, bro. Use discernment. <sighs> Let me see, man. It says is that black women's rear ends are too large and out of proportion, providing his take on proportional buttocks in Israelite women. Nelson, a middle class male in his twenties. Uh, let me see. It says shares what he what he right Edomite the heathen ideally looks for in a woman. It says white in ethnicity Edomite Karens and shit tan in complexion 
between 535.7 and 105.140. It said hair color isn't that important, although blonde is preferable. So how the fuck is it a stereotype? But they can sit up here and have preferences. Huh. Breasts and ass should be well proportioned to the rest of the body. So they're saying if this motherfucker is skinny, built like a ceiling fan, she's well proportioned, bro. Nobody, what the, man, get that shit out of my face, bro. Right? Long hair is good, and blue, green are great eyes, bro. What the fuck? He wants, bro, he wants that, bro. It says, when asked if he could find his ideal among black women, he states, I have yet to meet an Israelite woman who was well proportioned. This bitch ass Edomite tried to say, just because our women have big booties and big titties in this hourglass figure, this dumb ass heathen is trying to tell the righteous of our women that you're not proportioned. Who the fuck gave you the authority to even say that? But again, you can't do nothing against the truth before the truth, bro. Because even in the Bible, it said the daughters of Zion, the Song of Solomon, right? Very beautiful with round thighs. Bitch. So how is it a white man's book exactly? Okay. And for the most part, they don't have blue or gray eyes, bro. Do you see this shit? He later states that Beyonce has an ass that is well proportioned to the rest of her body. Alicia Keys is very petite with gorgeous eyes. That is about as far as it goes with me being sexually attracted to Israelite women. So basically, he had first of all, bro, it's showing you right there that it's not a, this is not a stereotype and a myth. It is a well known fact that the nations like their women skinny. Even my you know, a previous teacher of mine years ago, she's very skinny, super skinny, bro. The nation's men like their women like that. Jake, we don't like that shit. We don't, we don't like that shit. I'm sorry. We just don't. Even when y'all watch the uh, the Aklamatazash channel, bro, go back in his old videos. He was like, get you a thick beloved. Jake, we don't, bro, we don't. Everything about Israelite men is different than women. Everything, bro. Ain't nothing attractive about skinniness, man, physically. Then they'll say, well, it's about the spirit. I already know that. That's common sense. But stop making stuff one way and stop being unfair with shit. See what I'm saying? It says, I think I think some normal weight black women have nice average breasts and plump butts that are nice. But Israelite women have fat butts and are ugly. Do you see this shit? They're not, bro. Obesity and thickness is two different things, man. It's crazy because when you jump, man, Israelite women's booties have been constructed as a site of sexual attraction, as noted earlier, because the protruding size emphasizes sexual licentiousness, right? Which means wanton lust. It says in Isaiah, the daughters of Zion are proud and haughty. Wantonness, bruh. They love to seduce you with their eyes and shit because they have natural beauty. But that's talking about the wicked of our women. That's not talking about the jewels, bro. Because you got dumbass Israelites talking about, well, if she's skinny, she's more likely to be virtuous. No, that's nowhere in the Bible, bro. Yeah, I'm cooking everybody ass today, man. Um... It says, although... On the one hand, several white males find the black but attractive, both physically and sexually. Others see it as a patho pathologized and racialized spectacle, man. The white males' descriptors of black women's butts are too fat, sloppy, and ghetto. First of all, there's ghettos across the fucking earth, you stupid motherfuckers. So how is it a stereotype? Y'all are literally ec socioeconomically at the fucking top, whatever. Y'all can have that shit. I don't care about that. Because y'all stole it. Okay, y'all are ungodly any fucking way. But how the hell did you create, how did you associate being sexy with ghetto, bro? So for the Israelite women, they're doing that to try to destroy your beauty. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm not with the biasness, bro. I'm not with that shit, man. So for those of you, that's okay. The righteous of the Israelite women that the Lord is going to save, bro. 
however they look and all that, that don't matter. It's about the spirit. But when it comes to this, bro, the Lord got y'all fucking number, dog. You on this earth, you godless pieces of shit. You're lying on the Bible. You're lying on history. You're lying on separatism. That's why you have to come up with theories and shit. See what I'm saying? You have to come up with dumbass philosophies. Right? What's crazy, it says right here, by defining black women's vaginas as deformed and unnatural. See that shit? The female pudenda, the respondents imply that what is normal is the genitalia of white women, bro. So forget the scratch, bro. We talk about straight truth. This is what they try to do to degenerate this white woman, bro. It says Zach, who's in his 20s, which is a fucking Edomite in Nebraska, states that he is not sexually attracted to a pink vagina, but dark skin around. Right. As he said, I think their vagina is not it's just not right looking. The black lips and the pink inside is just a total turn off. Right. He said that um, Walter expresses not only his lack of attraction of black Latino women. Right. I say that because they're all, you know. Vagina, but also the notion that the genitalia, right, of Israelite women are defected and abnormal, bro. Do you see this bullshit? Y'all sitting up there telling me you can, y'all can say this shit with no consequences, but if I bring it up in public, everybody wanted, uh uh. Let me say this shit too for white America, bro. Y'all make up 90% of the population, statistically. How the fuck do you have a right to sit up there and try to Make other minorities blend in with y'all, bro. How? But you're that devil inside of you Israelites, inside of you heathens too, will try to just somehow justify this shit. Crazy, bro. Stupid. It says that a respondent mentioned earlier who expressed an aversion to Israelite women, describing them as very fat and very black, states that um, I do not like to see black women naked because of their dark breasts. And the black vagina area looks disgusting, bro. See? He said that here again, Israelite women's sexual body parts are described as a site of repulsiveness. Rooted in the notion of their per perceived deformity. As with the booty, the buttocks, the glutes, black women's, Latino women's vaginas have been a site of pathology, bro. See that? Historically, the vaginas of Israelite women have been used to oppressively mark them as primitive, as primitive, calling you an ape. The female saying, and that's evidence of their inner inferiority, inferiority to whites, which is very false because God said the opposite. Okay, car just crew. It car just crew again, crew again, bro. It says, for example, the Houghton Tart apron of a uh, Sahar Tijay Bartman which was a hypertrophy of the labia, the, the part of the female vagina, the lips, right? Caused by manipulation of the genitalia, was diagnosed by European scientists of the 1800s as a symbol of primitiveness and disease, which in actuality, that's actually separatism, bro. The Israelite women genetically is not built the same like other women, right? But you Gentiles, you don't take the time to humble your fucking self. And stop getting offended at shit. Meanwhile, we have to suffer along with your bullshit. Deal with your stupid ass men who secretly hate us. You don't show you East Indian. Bro, a lot of y'all don't show signs of love. And I ain't talking about the I'm not talking about the the ones who's innocent. I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking about the I'm talking about the ones who know better. The ones who's on that bullshit, man. Damn, bruh. It says pathologizing Israelite women through the genitalia. Edward Turn Turnip Seed Turnip Seed with the grape drink in 1868 made the argument that the Israelite women's hymen is not in the entrance to the vagina as in the white women's, but from uh, one and a half to two inches from its entrance in the interior. Whatever it says, bro. Right, that's crazy, bro. It says, you hear all the time, girl, I wish I had a bigger butt amongst white girls. Israelite women by the age of 16 usually have junk in the trunk and really have this problem. It is a well-known 
It is well it is well known that women are extremely self-conscious when it comes to their physical appearance, man. Right? Back in the days, girls with less or up top, right, would pad their bre- uh, bras with tissue to make their breasts look bigger and fuller, man. Right? And what, what am I bringing up, bro? Thorough, 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 thorough evidence that y'all bullshit, man. Right? <laughs> What's crazy, it says, the fact that no one feels like they have it all, right? Because they keep saying, um, hold on. It says, Israelite hair was never allowed to be natural. It had to be tamed, meaning per- all, them, all them perms and shit, which meant ironing and harmful chemicals, all to make black women, Israelite women, even Latina women, by the way, hair more like the hair of a white Western woman. That was, bro, that's not a myth. That is a fact, bro. White, white noses and bigger lips were mocked. That's a fact. It's not a myth. Israelite bodies were were sexualized and vilified. It's not a fact. It's not a myth. That's a fact. And almost never celebrated, bro. See that? In the 2020s, what is the aesthetic for white women we see in pop culture? The aesthetic is Israelite women. Bigger lips, bigger butts and thighs. Calm baby hairs, bro. So stop sitting up there talking about everything is a goddamn myth, bro. And over-sexualization. This also proves, again, Deuteronomy 4 and also Deuteronomy 7. The peculiarity of the nation of Israel. But like I always say, I'm only talking to those who have an ear to hear and eyes to see, man. In the new covenant. And I gotta keep reiterating that, man. Right here, man. Ah, let me see. It says, moreover, many of them often try to curl their hair and get a perm to achieve, talking about about these other nations, women, even the heathens that look like us, by the way. It says, to get a perm to achieve that kinky black look to their hair like ours, they even get lip and butt implants, those who can afford them, because they feel that it looks more attractive, which it is, to have thicker lips and bigger butts, which it is. Like ours and colored women have. Yet, despite all of these telltale actions and behavior by them to look just like us, right? And he's not she she's not talking about the naturally built Gentile women. If they're Gentiles. It says there are still many Edomite Edomites who are still intent on constantly killing and eliminating our people. You see that? Can't they see that no matter what they try to do to our dominant genetic futures are going to replace theirs faster than they can get rid of than us? It's because that it's because that's the way Yahweh God has always planned it. And that's the way he made us. No, no, God, you wrong for that. Bitch, how the fuck is the scriptures European mythology? You dumbass jakes who be doing that shit. That's a white man book. Stupid motherfuckers. If you had anything from a Jake, just put it in the book. Dumbass niggas. Anyways, and that's the way he made us and the makeup of the world from the very beginning. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is, man. See that, bro? Shit crazy, bro. Now, I'm going to show y'all examples, bro. How the fuck is this a myth or stereotype? And I'm using these as examples. Okay. Let's see y'all so-called black woman. She's in the vanity, obviously, but I'm talking about physical characteristics, man. Naturally. These, these motherfuckers don't even work out. Like they don't work out at all. Okay. Now he got them wearing fake ass eyelashes with his bullshit. Why? Cause it's social media. That's Bria Miles. I'm using these as examples, bro. Okay, and I'm gonna get so called Latinas, and I've already proven the other side, bro. 
Okay? Even back then, they looked just like that, bro. How do... Stop it, bro. Okay? But I'm doing this mainly for the righteous women, even the foreign women who understand, right? And because you got foreign women who's built voluptuous too. That's not the argument. See what I'm saying? What I'm arguing is the Lord has a peculiar, special nation. Okay? See what I'm saying? That was what makes Jake different than all the other nations. Okay? And also, too, that's when they played on good times, I think. But um, stop getting upset, bro, when we just want to be ourselves. We don't bother nobody. That's okay. The Lord got it, bro. See? So for you heathen women, it's on that cocky shit. Sit your bitch ass down, man. We're not with that shit. Just because you want to be a part of whatever, of so-called black culture. Because that's not our culture. But um, everybody all over the damn place, man. Like, y'all want to be wicked, but then y'all want to, like, blend in. Then y'all want to blend it. No, nigga. See that? The Latin tribes, bro. Okay? Because in history, when you read the 10 tribes of Israel, like which, which is what I brought out a long time ago, the indigenous Mexicans, the indigenous Puerto Ricans, Tainos, right? Boricuas. The indigenous Hebrews, okay? That's the same. That's they were talking about Yahweh in the book, bro. But now in school, they tell you that you know they're Spaniards. My thing is, they literally teach you the encomienda system, right? And and you clearly see that they have the dark skinned so called Hispanics and the light skinned so, so called Hispanics at the top. It's the same thing with the Capo Indians, bro. Israelites, they happen to every single last one of us. That did not happen. To the other nations, bro. So how do, so how is it a myth, bro? Which is not. It's never. It, it never was. Okay. See that these other Latin tribes. That's how they look now. But matter of fact, I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna prove it. Right. Watch this. Look at the Hiscos, man. So obviously they come looking in different shades of brown. Right? These are not the Egyptians. Those are the Hebrews. Okay? That's not you, Grape Drink. While everybody's mad at Kyrie and damn Kanye. Well, you dumbass. Church Jakes. I'm talking about my cousins. I'm talking about all of them, bro. Y'all don't understand what goes on in the music industry. You don't understand what's going the fuck on. Because you're just like Hosea 4 and 6. And those dumbass Jews that killed our Messiah, bro. You destroy for the lack of knowledge. You don't want to know nothing. But I'm proving this for the righteous shorties that understand, that's mature enough. Um, understand, you can put this put this information in your back pocket. Um, you know, try to be happy and focus on what you got to do, man. But know that the Lord does have a peculiar nation. He's he's very much a separatist, bro. Matter of fact, let's get that Deuteronomy 7, man. Deuteronomy chapter 4. I'm going to get 7 too. Deuteronomy chapter 4. I'm going to go to actually go to 7. For what nation is there so great who hath Yahweh so nigh unto them? As the Lord Yahweh our God is in all things that we call upon him for. And what nation is there so great? That have statues and judgments so righteous as all this law. So, obviously, in common sense, you you know you tie in the morals and everything. Um, which I set before you this day, man. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently. Keep your mind, keep your spirit, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, unless they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them. To thy sons and thy sons' sons, right? And obviously, common sense, your, your young girls too. Teach them the ways of the Lord, right? Because this book to the small remnant was supposed to be the, our wisdom. Notice how in Deuteronomy 7, right? So this is talking about the ancient 
Africans, the ancient Hamites, the real Hamites, okay? When we're talking about twerking and all these, all these heathenistic customs, even like being provocative, being like a whore, those are actually heathenistic customs. When the Lord Yahweh thy God shall bring thee into the land, whether thou goest to possess it, and has cast out many, many nations before thee, right? These are all sons of Ham, not the Negroes, not the Hebrews. The Hittites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than now, right? So the Lord is telling you these are the nations that are before us. Now, I know you got people saying, well, how are they? How are y'all the greatest nation? But they're mightier, bro. Not genetically mightier. He's saying, bro, they had more land, resources, and all that. See what I'm saying? And sometimes you have men and women of the other nations who might be stronger at the moment, bro, but not genetically. Right? That's why it says, when the Lord Yahweh, thy God, shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them. Talk about those Hamites. Nor show mercy unto them. So we're supposed to go in and wreck shop on the ass. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter shall not give unto his son. Give unto a damn heathen. Nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. Because he was talking to those Hamites. You see. For they will turn away thy son from following me. That they may serve other gods. Even your daughters obviously. Bro. Taking away of Egypt. Of America, of the world, of Rome. So that so will the anger of the Lord Yahweh will be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly, man. Right? Well, let's get to the point. For thou art in holy people, meaning separate, consecrated, right? Unto the Lord Yahweh thy God. Our mothers, for you foreign shards, our mothers, the Israelite mothers specifically, they are pristine when it comes to cleaning cleanliness. Right. They make sure and not all of not all of them, but for those of you who, who experienced this, our grandmothers and for me personally, you can see it's bits and pieces. Those of you who grew up in a church, especially. They like one of my uh, my aunties, man. Right. They love to wear, again, jewelry. They love to. Uh, they have a zeal towards the most high, but obviously they're like the. They're like the Israelites that were in those temples that were not keeping the commandments. They're just professing to be holy. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord Yahweh thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee, you Israelites, to be a special people unto himself. The Lord is a separatist. He said he chose a specific race of people to himself. Bro, the Gentiles would cleave unto them, the small remnant in righteousness, bro. All the wicked will be destroyed above all, above all, above all people that are upon the face of the earth, man. Right? So y'all know the rest, man. See that? That's why it says in verse 9, Know therefore that the Lord Yahweh thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them, not with ninjas, man, with them. That love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generation. And repayeth them that hate him to their face. Gonna blast your ass. To destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hateth him. He will repay him to his face, man. The Lord is not mocked. So you great drinks, you Maury's, you fake Jews getting on Kyrie, Adam Silver, to all mm -hmm, and you people who side with this bullshit. You people I deal with every day at my job because you can't get your fast food on time. You can't. And when I be scouting, you weird ass. Just everybody, everybody on this motherfucker is, again, going 100 miles per hour with no brakes, man. But I proved that I did this long lesson historically and tying it back to the scriptures, man. Beautiful young daughters of Zion, bro. The ones who's actually... Mature, you righteous, you got the spirit, right? You feel the Lord, bro, and you're genuine. That's the thing, genuine, and you got love, bro. Understand. 
You gonna go through tribulation too. But um Hey, I'm sorry, bro, but this it's just that's this what it is, man. So it's it's not a it's not a myth, bro. And that's not a myth. Stop the cap. But with that being said, man, I'm finna I'm finna get out of here, bro. Peace and blessings and shalom.